Hi, I'm Klaus from Guitar Habits and today I'm going to share you 9 blues guitar chords to spice up your blues rhythm. Ok, let's check it out. So we've got 9 blues chords. Uh, so we start with 4 A dominant 7 chords. shapes and then we have two A13 chords and you gotta have a, a bit of a blues jazz sound Okay, so we start with the first A dominant 7 chord shape. First finger on the G string 2nd fret. Second finger on the A string 4th fret. Third finger on the low E string 5th fret. And the fourth finger on the D string 5th fret. Mute the, high, the B and the high E string. And then you get yourself there two root notes, one on the G string 2nd fret and the other on the low E string 5th fret, your 3rd finger. And try to memorize those root notes. And now try to play the, this chord shape in every fret, so start from the 1st fret, 2nd fret, so this is A flat, A, a sharp, B, C, D, uh, C sharp down on 7, D down on D, down on 7, D sharp down on 7, E down on 7, F down on 7, and back. Okay, and we go on to the next. We're also gonna play this course into a 12 bar blues progression, check out that later on. Um, second blues chord, first finger on the low E string 5th fret, second finger on the D string 5th fret, third finger on the B string 5th fret, and your fourth finger on the G string 6th fret. Mute the high E string, of the mute, sorry, mute the, high, the A string, and the high E string. Try to do that with your index finger. So I mute the high E string with my index finger like that. And also mute the A string with my index finger. So we've got two A7 chord shape. We've got this one and we've got this one. Also, play this chord shape in every position. First position, F dominant 7, F sharp dominant 7, G dominant 7, G sharp dominant 7, A dominant 7, and so on. Go on to the next. That's a nice one. First finger on the D string 7th fret, second finger on the G string 8th fret, sorry, um, second finger on the B string 8th fret, third finger on the G string 9th fret, and the fourth finger on the high E string 9th fret. Your root note is on the first finger. Try to. Memorize that. Here is your root note. So that means this is an A note. Go back two half steps and we have ourselves a G dominant 7. Go back another two half steps, get yourself an F dominant 7. Another half step, 
E down on a 7. This is an E note. Okay, let's go on to the 4th A down on a 7 chord shape. Right here up on the 10th fret. Start with your 1st finger on the B string, 10th fret. Your 2nd finger on the D string, 11th fret. Your 3rd finger on the A string, 12th fret. And your 4th finger on the G string, 12th fret. Again, mute the low E string and the high E string. I do it with, I mute the low E string with my thumb. And the high E string again with my index finger. If you can't reach that low E string with your thumb, you can also use your third finger and press it upon the low E string like that. So if you get this. Your root note is here on the third finger, A string, 12th fret. That's an A note. And also play this in every key. So start here on C dominant 7. You might already know that chord. C dominant 7, C sharp dominant 7. D down on a 7, D sharp down on a 7, E down on a 7, and so on. So, 4 A down 7 chord shapes. Okay, let's check out the A9 chords. Three of them. It's got that blues jazz sound. Okay, so we start with the first finger on the A string, fourth fret. The second finger on the G string, fourth fret. The third finger on the low E string, fifth fret and the 4th finger on the D string 5th fret. Mute the B and the high E string with your index finger or whatever works for you. I do it with my index finger like that. Press it against those two strings. And again play in different keys. A dominant 7, your root note is here on the low E string 5th fret, your 3rd finger holds the root note. So here you get your 7, D dominant 7, A dominant 7. Okay, then we go to the, this one right here. 1st finger on the G string 6th fret, 2nd finger on the D string 7th fret, 3rd finger on the high E string 7th fret, and your 4th finger on the B string 8th fret. Your root note is on the 2nd finger, D string 7th fret, so that's an A note. Again, mute the low E and the A string, only hit the, those 4 strings. Dominant seven chord. Here's an E note, root note. Let's check out the third A9 chord. First finger on the 11th fret, D string. Second finger on the A string, 12th fret. Third finger on the G string, 12th fret. And your fourth finger on the B string, 12th fret. E. Your root note is on the 2nd finger, A string 12th fret, and 
this keys. Put it up here on the 7th fret, your 2nd finger. You get E down on the 7. Move it over here to the A string 3rd fret and you get C down on the 7. So play it in different chords. Practice that. It's G down on the 7. Okay. That's um so A down uh, A9 another A9 and another A9 I just said something like dominant seven while I was holding A9 okay uh, mistake right there so these these are all A9 chords last two chords, A13 chord shapes. So, first finger on the low E string, 5th fret, second finger on the D string, 5th fret, your third finger on the G string, 6th fret, and your fourth finger on the B string, 7th fret. Mute the A string and the high E string. A13. First fret, you get yourself an F13. Move up a half step, F sharp 13, G13, G sharp 13, A13, A sharp 13, B13, C13, and so on. And the last chord, uh, last A13 chord shape, start with your Second finger on the D string, 11th fret. Second finger on the A string, 12th fret. Third finger on both G and B string. So, so flatten that finger on the G and B string, like this. That's the tricky part. And then your fourth finger on the 14th fret high E string. It's pretty difficult up here, but if you move it up here, maybe it's better for you to play. So it, it feels different in different positions. So your root note is here on the second finger. So this is A13, and here E13 on the 7th fret and D13 on the 5th fret okay let's check out some rhythms in a 12 bar blues progression 